Hello and welcome to another GridDB video. Today's video will be about using FluentD to push data to GridDB. So if you're not familiar, FluentD is an open source data collector that allows you to easily ingest data into GridDB. This data most typically is information generated by your edge devices or other sources um, that are not in your local network. Uh, the nice thing about FluentD is that it supports multiple input sources including HTTP and MQTT and uh, some other stuff. And then of course FluentD has many different output options including GridDB. So the scope of this video will be not uh, not installing FluentD, so we'll expect you to have GridDB and FluentD installed already, uh, but we will show you how to move forward past that and to have your two applications um, working in conjunction. Okay, so step one of this process will be to install the GridDB web API um, so you can find that directly on our GitHub page. So there will be a link down in the description below. So um, first let's install that. Okay, and then we need to copy over this web API directory into our um, GridDB home. So that's in the following location here. Um, so let's copy this over to, so this is the default location. So we need to copy that over there. And then we need to change the owner of that um, directory to, um, to, well, you'll see. So the gsadmin.grid store will be that new owner of um, that directory we just copied over. Okay. Then we need to edit the um, the comp file in there to add in our GridDB cluster. So um, let me do that. So I guess I will just head over there. So we go into here. We go into the web API directory and we edit the repository JSON file. So in name, we add whatever cluster name you're using. So for these videos, we just use a default. Perfect. All right, so um, now let's actually get that web API up and running. So let's switch over to our um, GridDB user first. So we just switch. And then we need to run the following command. So we just need to point to our grid store jar file. And then we go into our web API directory and then to actually run it, we need to run this Java command that I am going to copy and paste here. And then hopefully the Web API runs with no errors at all, which we will see shortly here. Okay, so it says started application, Tomcat started on port 8080. Perfect. Okay, and then we need to open up um, a second terminal because this one is being used by the web API. Okay, so now since the web API is uh, installed and running, let's install the GridDB FluentD connector. So we just need to grab the release from the GitHub page. So let's um, do that. We get this tar file and then we just unzip on tar. Okay, and then we go into that directory and then we need to um, you need to have Ruby Ruby and Ruby gem installed um, which is a prereq for FluentD so you should have that installed already and then you need to build the gem files that are within this directory um, this file here so normally you would just run gem install you know or gem build uh, but that if you do it that way your FluentD installation will not see it so you need to actually use the gem from within the FluentD directory. So if you don't know what I mean, I'll just copy and paste. So we need to use the gem from within this directory here, and that way it'll see that it's installed. So just go ahead and run that. And then you also need to um, install the gem. So same thing, you need to use the gem bin from directly from that directory. So we do that. Perfect. No problems there. 
Okay, so now that the Fluentd plugin is installed, let's actually start our Fluentd um, service. So you can start it like so. Okay, and then we will edit the um, TD agent configuration file to add in our GridDB plugin information so that Fluentd can actually use it. So you would be editing the following file. Oops. This file. So basically you need to um, is that the top or bottom? You need to add this the following information into this configuration file. So um, this is just the all default information. So the container, this is a grid DB container, so we're gonna create a container called container one. Uh, the cluster is just the default cluster, and this is all the default options. Okay, so do that, and then you need to restart your Fluentd um, so that it starts up using that plugin. Okay, perfect. Um, so now let's actually try posting some data. So if you remember, there was a container called container one that we're going to be using for our Fluentd. So we don't have that container made yet on our GridDB database. So first we will use the GridDB web API to use the command line to issue a curl command to you to create a post request and it'll create the container for us. So let me just copy and paste um, instead of talking and being confusing. So here it is. So we're going to post, um, we're going to have our um, cluster credentials here. We're posting a JSON file and here we're creating the container with the container name container one. And then the basically the schema is here. So it's a time series container and um, all this other information here. And uh, we're querying or we're posting against our web API um, here. So we run this. We run this. Um, so we get an error here because the container already exists uh, because I've run this before. But that's good. So that means it's there and ready to go. And then next up, we want to actually um, use the GridDB plugin to um, post data to Fluentd. So um, if you remember, the Fluentd is running on port 888. That's a default. So I'm just going to copy and paste this command. So now we're going to actually try posting data into our GridDB cluster, but going through Fluentd first. So we're going to um, post this information, this JSON file here with hello world. Uh, into port 88 into our grid DB. Okay, so we run this. We run this. Um, so if nothing comes up, that's good. That means no errors occurred. And then using the grid DB web API, now we can see the data that was posted to Fluentd just previously. So I will copy and paste the next command here once I do that. Okay, so um, same thing here. We're posting against it. Uh, we have to type in our um, cluster uh, credentials, so uh, name and uh, password. Um, and we're querying against yeah, the GridDB Web API, uh, port 8080, uh, against the container, container 1. So we do that, and we should receive the hello world that we posted earlier. Yep, it's here. So as you can see, it's successfully posted into GridDB through Fluentd, through the GridDB Web API. So... Uh, that's basically it for the quick start. This is just the beginning, obviously, of what you can do with GridDB and its FluentD plugin. Um, for more information, you can check out the documentation in the description below. It links to our GitHub page. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you have fun with this. Alrighty, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. All information and downloads and plugins and everything else you would need can be found on griddb.net. Thank you very much.